one thing to keep in mind is that, you know, as I mentioned, this, this series of ice ages that really took off around two and a half million years ago is just the tail end of a cooling trend mm -hmm. that's been going on for about 30 million years. And so, you know, we've had permanent ice at the poles on and off for roughly about 30 million years. And so that's sort of what we call ice house earth, right? Mm -hmm. Versus a greenhouse earth, which is what we're sort of moving towards. Um, and we've slowly been changing the, the, the actors, if you will, the species on the, on the Earth stage in response to that, that cooling, that progressive cooling. Yeah. And so, you know, there have been a series of, of extinctions that have been driven, you know, as we've moved more and more into ice house Earth conditions. And so all the species we would have loved to have had around to deal with, you know, where we're going in the next century have been successively filtered out mm. over, you know, 30 million years of cooling and in some cases drying. And so, um, yeah, there are places on the Earth where there will be climate change winners. Yeah. Um, but there will be a lot of climate change losers. And the other thing to remember, too, is that um, unlike the past, we have a highly fragmented mm. um, landscape. We have, you know... Say more about that. What do you mean? Oh, so we have, you know, lots of, um, you know, farms and, pa mm. you know, paved spaces and cities and roads and all of these barriers to dispersal, which even in the fossil records, I work a lot on extinction and the causes of mm. extinction related to climate change. It's often not so much the warming per se that kills you. It's you know, if, if species can track their climates, if they can sort of move into the areas and follow where their optimal habitat is, then they're probably going to be okay. Mm -hmm. um, but if they can't do that, and that might be because of natural barriers um, like the Mediterranean Sea, or it might be because of something like a mountain, nowadays it's gonna be, you know, uh, farmlands and mm -hmm. urban areas, um, then, then they're gonna be the losers of climate change. And so climate change is really forcing us, I think, to be really creative in terms of our conservation strategies. Mm -hmm. um, you know, regardless of how much warming we're committed to, we're going to, I think, have to be a little bit more creative and a little bit more hands-on in terms of managing species to help usher them through um, the next century.